Hello, this is Alfredia Flowers. And I'm so glad to be with you on our 14th day doing our two-way journey. It's so exciting. We're also reading John chapter 14. So those of you who are joining us for the first time, I'm going to pray and then I'm going to talk a little bit about where are we getting our journaling from? Father, I thank you for another day, another opportunity to come and hear from you, to have a dialogue with you. I thank you that this is available through Jesus Christ, our Savior and Lord. We say, come Holy Spirit, come Holy Spirit, speak to our ears, speak that we hear you, that our hearts understand and our eyes see what you're trying to show us. In the name of Jesus, I cancel every doubt, every assignment against us hearing from God. In the name of Jesus, I loose ears to hear, eyes to see, and a heart that is converted to the will and way of our Lord Jesus. Amen. All right. It's exciting. It is exciting. This is the second go round that we've been doing, the basics in 20 way, 21 days with Micah, Joy Williams, and her husband, Benjamin. So Benjamin and Michael Joy Williams have put written a book together called The Basics in 21 Days. And last year, we went through and we shared highlights from each chapter. And this year, we're doing it a little differently. We're not sharing the highlights from each chapter, though. You can go back and look at it at on the YouTube channel, Encounter 001 TV. Encounter the number 001. TV, you can go back and see what they, what, a little bit of the highlights, or you can buy the book. You can get it from Micah Joy Williams and Benjamin's website, or you can get it from Global Global Aware, Awakenings Bookstore. So this is day 14. And on day 14, it's about repentance. And so we're not going to really read that, but we're actually going to instead read from John chapter 14, verses one through six. And then I will ask the questions that the Williams have suggested. But prior to that, you know, I always like to review just in case there are new people journaling with us. The process that we're using to journal is one that actually was developed by Mark and Patty Verkler. They're the authors of Four Keys to Hearing God's Voice. And those four keys that the Williams share in the first day of their, their book, the first, the basics in 21 days, they share the, and you do you can do it in different orders. You the one of the keys, the first one we're going to use is to steal ourselves, focus on God. Get quiet before him. And even as I'm reading the scripture, that one way that you can quiet yourself before God. Two, we're going to visualize ourselves. We're going to stop, look, visualize ourselves with Jesus, having a dialogue with Jesus. And I will ask questions that the Williams have suggested. And then you want to write that question down and then begin to notice three, the spontaneity spontaneous thoughts, words, or pictures that come to you, not from up here in your head, but from your spirit, because we are looking for spirit-to-spirit -spirit communication. We're spirits with three parts, spirit, soul, and body, and God can communicate directly to our spirit. Sometimes he speaks audibly, but some, most of the time he'll be speaking spirit to spirit. So that's what we're going to look for. That's the third key. And the fourth one is write it. And he got this from Habakkuk chapter two, verses one and two. And that's how he prepared himself to get the answer to a question that he placed before God. So we're so excited about it. We're going to get started. We're going to actually make sure that you're ready to, have you got something to write with? Or you can always record it on your phone. But we're going to, I'm going to read and then I'm going to put the questions that, the, that they have suggested, the Williams have suggested, and then you begin to, to journal, two-way journaling with God. And again, we don't want to ask anything really emotional, like why did mama die? Not, not now when we're developing our ability to hear God better. Maybe later you can do that. And again, if you're new to this, remember whatever you get should line up with the written word of God and the heart, the character, 
loving heart of God. So we want to make sure that we're, we're doing that. And if, and if you don't know if what, whether it's lining up, find someone you know that knows the word of God, the written word of God, and the heart and character of God. Because even if it's something that's not you don't feel really good about, if it's the word of God, it's going to be something that's going to move you closer to him, move you closer to what it is that he has for you to do. So I think we're ready now. Now I want you to still yourself, get quiet before the Lord, take a deep breath, and I'm going to read. Let's read, first of all, what the Williams suggests that we read. We're reading John chapter 14. They say, read John chapter 14, still yourself and place yourself. That's number two. We're going to place ourselves. We're going to see ourselves in John chapter 14, verses one through six, and then come to Jesus and ask him one of these questions. And you can even, if you want, even ask, the, write the questions down now. Jesus, what spiritual truth do I know, but I still need to believe? Again, what spiritual truth do I know what I still need to believe? Or two, how important is repentance? And you know, that's changing our mind, getting our mind and our, our, in line with what God is wanting, changing our perspective, and that will cause us to change our actions. So repentance, how important is repentance? And again, I said, if you want to actually hear more, you can go and look at the information that I put out last year because I read excerpts or get the book. So thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord, that we're stealing ourselves before you and we are engaging in dialogue with you, our ears. As, as Samuel said, speak, Lord, your servant hear it. John chapter 14, verses one through six. Let not your heart be troubled. You believe in God, this is Jesus speaking, believe also in me. In my father's house are many mansions. If it were not so, I would have told you, I go to prepare a place for you. And if I go and prepare a place for you, I will come again and receive you to myself and that where I am there, you may be also. Here I'm speaking this to you. And where I, I go, you know, and the way you know. Thomas said to him, Lord, we do not know where you're going. Jesus said to him, I am the way, the truth, and the life. No one cometh to the Father except through me. Lord, as we ask these questions, may we become even more aware of Jesus, Yeshua, as the way, the truth, and the life. See yourself talking to him, smiling. He's so happy. He's so glad you're here, there. And ask him, Jesus, what spiritual truth do I know, but I still don't believe? What spiritual truth do I know but I still don't believe. And as I read that, I just hear the father that was saying, I believe, help thou my unbelief. And I believe that God will give you a nugget to help you in this area if there's something that he shares with you. Or the second question would be, Jesus, how important is repentance? How important is repentance? How important is repentance? I'm going to leave you now and allow you to continue to dialogue with Jesus. And if you, if you don't understand what he's saying, you can always say, Lord, I don't understand. Can you share more? Can you tell me more? And if nothing is coming, just write those words from the scriptures in your own words and allow God to begin to speak to you because he wants to speak to you. He died and rose again so that the veil was torn and we have direct access 
So enjoy your journey, your journey with Jesus. Be blessed. Know that he loves you and he is speaking to you now.